Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the brick or block seal option. Uh, you might be wanting to use a brick or block material for your walls and then find that it's not available in the seal material options. So rather than having to recreate that material using the material creator, you can simply use one of the common brick or block options. So every single material library has these common options. They'll be called, for example, common block or common brick. Just use it and you'll see that it will obviously put in that brick or block. And if the color is wrong, that doesn't matter because you can parametrically change it, which is global. And that means every single window that's using this particular sill type will all update. And also if you modify your windows, nothing will happen. You won't forget those changes. What you want to do is you want to click the B on your keyboard or open the bucket tool. And then you want to go to the colors in, in model and you want to make sure that you find the brick or the block that you want to edit. And if you hover over it, it will tell you the name. This one's brick common red. And I'm using metric, but ignore it if you are using imperial. The, I'm also using the Mac and the dialogue is a little bit different to the PC, but the process is essentially the same. Once you find the material that you will need to edit, right click it and select edit and then you'll see that you've got these edit material options. Click on the little dropper, and then now you can left click on the brick or block that you're using, and it will now color match it. And I'll just show you that it is parametric, so if you do, for example, edit your windows, that you'll still will remember that change no matter what. And if you change your external brick or block, then it's a very quick process just to go back in and edit it and then rematch it with the new material that you've selected.